Hey guys, uh, yeah, just wanted to do a little video on this Sears LT10. Um, I bought this, I was probably like 18, so I probably had it like five years, but uh, um, as you can see, it's been sitting probably two or three years. Um, I ran it for a while, but uh, basically the motor, the engine is like blown. Um, it runs, but it'll run for like half hour, then the spark plug fouling out, a bunch of crap like that. It's just not really can't just jump on and start you got to change the plug it smokes a lot it's it's pretty much blown um uh, i think it's kind of think it was like an eight or ten horse briggs or something uh it's so dirty it's kind of hard to tell but uh i think this is like a 72 or 73 it's a uh sears lt10 it's kind of like the uh sears suburbans but it's a very small version um it's basically a lawn tractor not a garden tractor um yeah, but I really had some fun on this thing. I used to um, run it through the woods and stuff like that. So, my plan is I'm going to um, do away with all this shit. Take the motor out, take the, take the uh, battery out, all that. And I just want to put a, um, one of them like five and a half from Harbor Freight. And just plop that on there. One of the pull started ones. I think it's just running a pulley on the bottom, which it is. So I'm just going to hook that pulley up to... Uh, um, to the, uh, to the transaxle or the transmission or whatever. And, uh, that way I could just, you know, pull start it real quick. Don't have to worry about the battery, all that crap. Because every time this thing would, uh, sit, it would be such a pain ass to restart. And then the batteries go bad and they're like 40 bucks. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a little underpowered for sure. That's basically a push mower engine. But, uh, for what I'm doing, I kind of wanted to, uh, basically like you see how my trailers are all over i wanted to be able to just jump on it and uh hook up to the trailers and back them in tight spots and all um better than my pickup so that's kind of the plan for this guy um yeah in first gear you know idled up i'm sure it's gonna have enough power to pull even with the smaller engine so because i mean i remember with this engine this thing had all types of power you could put it in third gear idling and you could pull pull those trailers you know so I'm figuring the first gear revved up, it should have plenty of power. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, probably pull the motor up. Well, first I'm gonna clean it up, pull the motor off, and then just go get a, the Harbor Freight motor. Um, I guess, I don't even know if I'm gonna hook up the lights and shit, to be honest, because you kind of need either a battery. I don't think those little motors really make it its own electric. They have a magneto, but I don't think it's enough for uh, the headlights. So honestly, I might just leave those disconnected. I don't really care that much. I mean, worst come to worst, I could just put a battery in there just for the lights. Um, yeah, because all I really plan on doing, like I said, is moving trailers. I used to take this thing out in the woods and beat it, but I kind of kind of fond of it. I have another parts tractor too with the hood and stuff. It's a little later one. It's a little different, but you know, that thing's, uh, that thing's, I don't know, that's all beat up too. It's missing parts and stuff. But uh, I think the motor on that's good. I could probably switch the motors out, but I don't know. I kind of, like I said, I kind of want a brand new motor and just uh, pull start it, get away from the electric start. It's always a problem with electric. So, and for, like I said, for what I needed, I don't need much power. So that's the plan. All right, guys, I'll get back with you.